All right, welcome back to yet another episode of Two Minute Tuesdays. Today is all about imaging. So what is imaging? Now, imaging can be broken down to a few different parts. Now, there's the central imaging, which is what most people associate imaging to be. Basically, you have a speaker and then in the center of the speaker, you get a sound that is coming right down the middle. Female voices, male voices, vocals, instruments, whatever it may be, is coming right down the middle and you don't hear it from the left channel or the right channel speakers. It's in the center of your room. And this is what amazes a lot of people. It certainly amazed me when you first get into the speaker hobby. Now, of course, there's other imaging factors. For example, on the left channel, a guitar may play or on the right channel, a saxophone may play. And being able to localize exactly where that saxophone is within the sound stage given is also called imaging. Now today we're gonna basically focus on the center imaging part and how to optimize or improve the center imaging. Because quite frankly, when you first get into the hobby, a lot of people make small mistakes that compromises that beautiful center imaging masterpiece. So let's drop that two minute on the clock and let's go. So one of the most common mistakes that people make when they connect their speakers is actually switching the positive and negative on your speaker cable, on your speakers or your amplifier end. And what that ends up doing is it messes up the entire phase, making it that is really hard for you to get that center imaging. In fact, to me, it sounds very off and actually hurts my ears. For some, it may not sound weird at all, but the center imaging will just not be there. So make sure that you have your speaker cables connected correctly and double check right now because you have no idea how many times I walked into a room and heard a speaker out of phase and the owner didn't know for months. Now the next mistake that a lot of people make knowingly or unknowingly depending on their lifestyle choices is having stuff between their speakers. Now a lot of people have TVs in between their speakers and this is a common thing. But you may have heard from avid audiophiles that having uh, a TV in the middle of your speakers or any, any reflective surface for that matter can uh, mess up with the face and give you unwanted reflections so that you don't get that perfect imaging or perfect sound down in the middle of your room. And this is absolutely true. One thing you can do if you want or must have that TV in the room is to cover it with a acoustic panel or some kind of absorption material like, you know, a blanket. Blanket works. But it's not only TVs that can have these adverse effects. In fact, any furniture in between your speakers can potentially mess with the phase and give you improper imaging and unwanted reflections. And these include very high-end, tall hi-fi racks as well. These in between your speakers can cause phase issues and really give you improper imaging. So having less furniture in most cases is better in between your speakers. But of course, not any, everyone can have that. So try your best to cover or, uh, with blankets or whatever you can to minimize the effect as much as possible when listening to music. Well, if you want that proper imaging, of course. Now my next tip and probably my favorite thing of all time is using acoustic panels. Not just any acoustic panels, but my favorite from UA Acoustics. This also does diffusion, but also absorption because it's using foam. Now diffusion is probably the single most important thing when it comes to speaker imaging. At least in my opinion, it improves it by a lot. Having it between your speakers or behind your speakers basically scatters the sound that's unwanted and gives you right focus between your left and right speakers so that you get pinpoint imaging right down the middle. So if you want that really perfect imaging down in the middle and even if you already have a very good imaging uh, speaker or setup, this can improve it quite a bit. And my last tip is going to tie in directly with a video that I did recently and I'll link it in the description below. But essentially you want to have your speakers at the right height by using a right height speaker stand. And you can do this with other speakers that's not bookshelf speakers as well. But you essentially want the tweeter at ear level or close to ear level as much as possible. And both speakers should have same distance from the wall behind it and the side walls as much as possible. And this will give you great imaging and you can even toe in the speakers a little bit to get even better focused imaging. But you do need a measurement tool of some sort like a measuring tape so that the distance is exactly the same and having the speakers exactly the same distance in your room is essential to getting great imaging in, the, in between your speakers. I hope that, I don't think, I don't think I made it. I don't think that was two minutes. Well, better luck next time.
But hopefully this video was informative to you. And if it was, then please click, click that like button. It does help us out. And I'll see you guys on the next one.